You know, I'm a little bit embarrassed when I looked at those pictures. Those damn pants were short. That, 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 that was terrible. I've got three sons-in-law over here that I know I'm going to hear about that tonight and forever. Uh, first, I want to thank the university for this very, very meaningful recognition. And I'm certainly humbled and very honored by this. It's truly one of the highlights of my life. Secondly, I want to congratulate the other honorees. A huge thank you to Richard Duchois for his longtime commitment to the university and to WNL Sports through his support of the Athletic and Recreation Center. We toured it today, and it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful facility. And what's important to me is it's not just for the sports teams, it's for the entire Washington League community. To the other inductees, I'm somewhat overwhelmed when I see what you all have accomplished in the various sports while at the same time being highly successful students who have given back to the school in many, many ways. WNL is fortunate to have had you on the campus. This uh, induction process has caused me in some way to want to look back at WNL athletics. Over many years, the WNL Board of Trustees have made a great many very, very significant decisions. And in light of this ceremony, there are two that truly stand out in my mind. And both had significant impact on athletics. One being the decision to de-emphasize athletics, resulting in no further athletic scholarships. This occurred a few years before uh, my coming to WNL in 1959. To me, it was the right call, and future athletics have been beneficiary of that decision. Athletics became more fun com a, and a more competitive endeavor as opposed to being paid to play. This second board decision, uh, excuse me, second uh, in this same light concerning the board decision was to admit women to attend the university. And this also had a huge impact, not only on athletics, but on the very high national reputation uh, of the school as well. And I would support that decision wholeheartedly. A few years ago, I had uh, the opportunity to come to Lexington to watch my granddaughter, Stuart Ayer, play on the women's basketball team, and as a result, I watched several men's games as well. Both the men's and women's teams were characterized by highly skilled players, shooting, dribbling, ball control, great uh, conditioning, and a high level of enthusiasm, sportsmanship, and success on the court. All this with no athletic scholarships and the teams were having fun, which I'm sure was the case when my younger brother Stuart played here, and I'm sure is true for all the other sports too. Today's athletic programs, whether team sports or intramurals, provide students with the opportunity to compete at a very high level and to experience all that team competition brings. At the same time, the school provides an academic environment that is second to none. Finally, I want to say that one of the highlights of my four years at WNL in basketball was the night of February the 13th, 1961, which you heard a little bit about on the video there. I think that uh, upset win over the University of Virginia was one of the biggest wins ever for a WNL team. I was given the game ball signed by all of my teammates, and I want to present that to athletic Jim uh, Jan Hawthorne right now.
Jay, and my apologies for having let our four daughters play with that ball. <laughs> and over the years, it's in right poor condition, I'm afraid. But I hope that it can be restored and better preserved for an opportunity to reside in the Sports Center trophy cases along with the other sports memorabilia. Now, I would be very, very remiss <clears throat> if I didn't thank and recognize the most ardent supporter of our team during my four years. That person, being my then girlfriend and now wife, Anne, I dare say she was the only female in the Remus Gymnasium for four years. <laughs> in conclusion, I am very proud to have been a part of Washington and Lee Sports and sincerely thank the school through this induction process for allowing me to continue to be a part of WNL sports history. Thank you.